Okay. Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only Miss Allison Dubois. Hi, thank you for um, chatting with me. I mean, listen, you know, thank you for taking time out of your Dead Life podcast. I would imagine the end of the year too, like people are running for readings to kind of reflect on the year, yeah. right? Well, also December is always busy for me because people miss their loved ones during the holidays. So I'm booked. <laughs> I mean, I'm usually booked, but December people come out and they're like, can I have it on this specific day? So um, yeah, it's been very busy between dead university and the dead life. Um, I'm juggling. Well, I mean, you're also juggling. Now you have to juggle making cameos on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, <laughs> episodes six and seven, you know, dinner party from hell. I mean, has it gone to your head, Allison, the fame? Are you still the same Allison that I've been texting this whole week? <laughs> you're, that's so funny. Every time they show me, I know it's to make the episode that they're talking about relevant. So no, it hasn't gone to my head. I was actually already famous before I was ever on the show. So it's all good. This is true. I was watching it. And I was like, we were going to do this anyway, but I was like, oh my gosh. It was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. I mean, the first half was just boring. And then when they started touching on the dinner party, it was cringy. So I'm sure we're going to go over that today. We're going to go over it all. I mean, well, let's, before we get to the dinner party, what did you think? I mean, Morgan Wade has finally made her, her R-H-O-B-H debut. What did you think of this scene with her and Kyle in the tattoo parlor? So what I took away from that scene, first of all, Kyle should stay away from natural light. Her skin looked hideous. But aside from that, when they hugged, there was something very uncomfortable about the hug. And anybody that's in a relationship, it's sort of an embrace when you hold one another. Even if it's on television, it's natural to exude warmth. Like people will watch you and be like, oh, that's so sweet. This just looked very forced. Really? Mm -hmm. Who do you think seems more uncomfortable, like Morgan or Kyle? Oh, Morgan seemed wildly uncomfortable, I'm sure the land of housewives, although it's something that is pop culture and is only going to help her in her career for people to know who she is. She is probably more in her element when performing music. And I just noticed she had her arms crossed most of the time, which is a, sh is a sign that somebody's closed off and uncomfortable in the situation. So nothing about it seemed comfortable or natural between the two of them and then with kyle's very odd tattoo and the placement which was interesting um do we know if it's henna or if this is an actual tattoo <laughs> because i'm looking at some of what she's getting and it almost looks like prison art it's just it wasn't it wasn't particularly uh detailed emotional or special uh, maybe it has some meaning behind it that we're not privy to, uh, but I'm just saying it just seemed like she was going off the cuff a little bit. Well, this definitely helps Morgan's career because she is opening, Joan Jett is opening for Alanis Morissette and Morgan is opening for Joan Jett. So it's a triple bill and Morgan is the opening act. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. I I mean, people actually act recognize her name on some level. I still can't name any of her songs. I've never heard her music. Um, I just know that she's Kyle's friend. And um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to care. <laughs> Honestly, it's just hard to care. And it, it just seems that Kyle doesn't do anything unless it's to get ratings or some sort of a benefit financially or fame wise out of the situation. And I thought it was interesting. You had sent me an article from Kim, her sister. And Kim had talked about not understanding why the three of the sisters couldn't meet together off camera and spend time together. And I think that was very honest of her and many of us would want to know the answer to that. Why do these people just get together on camera and call each other 
friends or talk about how close they are and how much they care when the camera's rolling, but behind the scenes won't talk until the next season films. So I think that speaks volumes. At least it does to me. I read that article with Kim that it's, it was kind of sad. You know, she said, I guess that she really reached out like when Kyle's friend died and, you know, right. Kyle didn't, you know, she, she needed her then. And now it's kind of like she never hears from Kyle. It seems. That's what it sounded like. Um, which is really sad. I mean, I have a brother. If he was going through something, I'd reach out and want to be there for him. But I also didn't have to capitalize on being known for a reality show. Now, once I was on it as a guest, I mean, I I was on one episode. So I think that speaks volumes as to the power of being up front without an edit button and speaking your mind that that would be refreshing in this day and age is sort of it's sort of sad because everything seems so rehearsed and set up and overly produced when it's put in front of us which i think we're going to talk about today as well i think we're going to talk about it today as well i mean do you think because the one before we get to the dinner party i thought that kyle seemed so like, well, she said in that scene, I mean, right, again, whether it's honest or not, she said, you know, I just love Morgan because everything about her is just so relaxed and easy. I mean, she's basically like saying this group of friends of hers, and I use the word <laughs> friends loosely, right. on the show are just all high maintenance and Mauricio is a lot and she can just, this 28 year old who's like almost 30 years younger is just, it's easy. That's what she said. It is interesting to watch a midlife unfold in front of our eyes. And it is funny that Kyle got so uncomfortable when Morgan mentioned what a fan of Morgan's had said about Kyle and her midlife. I think Kyle gave an honest response when she sort of smacked her arm, like, don't say that. Reminding her of her age really bothers her. You think it bothers her? And then we'll then compare that to that scene with Mauricio. Again, I find these scenes so... And I still think some of these scenes are shot like now. You, you know what I noticed? Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of group scenes this season. Like, I, you're not really... But, like, I feel that these one-on-one -on -one scenes, they're going back... Because the group scenes, you can't really edit when everyone's there. I feel like they went right. back and put all these one-on-one -on -one scenes in to craft this storyline. I really did. Well, G and Maurizio are actually kind of the center of the universe of what's going on right now on the show, not the group dynamic as much. They try and kick up other, you know, drama that might be going on with each of the women, but it's about them. And I find it interesting. <laughs> I did make a couple of notes because 